We are finishing up here this morning in Edinburgh. We're gonna have our first full Scottish breakfast here on the Fingal before we head out of the city to the Isle of Skye. We are heading out of the city and making several stops as we head out to the Isle of Skye. A lot of driving today, but it's a lot of stops that we're really looking forward to as we've been planning this trip. This is, this is Castle Day and um, we're excited to get out in the Scottish countryside. We've loved Edinburgh so far, but we're looking forward to continuing exploring. So we are on our own road tripping out into the Scottish countryside. We are on the opposite side of the car, on the opposite side of the street. For us. <laughs> So uh, not what we are used to, but we did get an automatic car because having to think about um, driving manual and then uh, on the other side of the car, on the other side of the street, is just a little bit too much. So we did opt for the automatic vehicle. Usually you'll pay a good amount extra for that, but for us and the peace of mind of uh, you know removing that one little Absolutely. obstacle yeah. is... Uh, yeah, I don't know if we could do it otherwise. Last time we came to England, we tried it and we were very unsuccessful. We didn't even leave the parking lot. So then we went inside and opted for the automatic. Well, as we're driving along here, we're really starting to get the Scottish Highlands experience. We're driving over beautiful locks. We have mountains covered with green trees. The grass is very green. It's uh, really the experience that we were hoping for and uh, really what we came to Scotland for were views just like we're getting already and we're only just getting started. We've been driving in and out of some rain. Um, they kind of like just there just be these bursts out of nowhere it's cloudy but then we'll be in some sunshine as well so our hope is that it stays um, it's sunny right now our hope is that it stays sunny when we get over to the castle but uh, it has been changing quickly we've been in and out of sunshine and rain pretty much the whole drive since we left Edinburgh like I said earlier we're just getting started on our drive but we've been really enjoying it so far We just pulled over on the side of the road. We're getting our first glimpses of Loch Ness and uh, it is quite beautiful. We've got this nice, partly cloudy, but partly sunny day. And right now the sun is peeking through and um, this is making the journey worth it so far. We have just made it to Urquhart Castle. We are about to head in to get a look at the castle up close and to get a better look at Loch Ness. Standing in the middle of a castle and looking out on Loch Ness it is definitely an incredible feeling. It's the kind of thing you just uh, you dream about, you plan. When you finally get to do it, it's just incredible. Well, we're exploring the castle and the setting here is just absolutely unreal. And one of the things that's interesting to me is I've been told multiple times since I've been in Scotland, you'll experience all four seasons in one day. And we're here in July. It feels like October um, where we're from. And I just think about these stones and all the weather they've endured over all of these years. It's pretty incredible. Scottish flag, flying proud. I'm sure you won't hear any of this because of the wind, but standing up top on your car castle, looking out over Loch Ness is just an absolutely incredible view. It's 
just like a once in a lifetime kind of view. It's just the kind of thing that just makes you feel lucky. <laughs> I just feel so lucky to be here and be able to see amazing places like this. I don't take any of it for granted. Well, obviously we're looking at Loch Ness and we weren't going to go do the Loch Ness monster stuff, but I don't even think we we're gonna mention it. But as you look out at the Loch Ness, oftentimes there's gray skies. The water is really like a gray color. It's not you know bright blue or anything like that. And as it moves, you can kind of see these dark objects pop out. It's not an object, it's just an illusion of the waves and I can see it being a tale that you tell children, oh, there's a there's a monster out there. And I think someone took the initiative to Photoshop it, and the legend was born. Of course, the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn, so, there's you know, magic. there's magic out here. We're really just getting started on our trip here in Scotland, and the bar is already set so high here at Burkhart Castle. I'm just so excited for what we're gonna see next. Right now we're on our way over to Skye and uh, specifically Portree and the scenery has completely opened up after leaving Loch Ness and we're just seeing the true Scottish Highlands. It's just absolutely beautiful. The views around every turn are incredible and just when we think, wow, it can't get better than this, we come around a bend and it's even more beautiful than before. It's um, it's everything that you think it's going to be and um, pictures don't really do it justice because seeing it in person is just incredible. We're staying here at the Mungstadt Luxury Lodge on the Isle of Skye. It is this very cool boutique hotel, which was once the home of Scottish noblemen. Um, Sir Alexander and his wife, Lady Margaret, lived here because their castle was haunted. They decided to stay at Mungstadt House, which was kind of their vacation cottage, but obviously it has been well renovated, well taken care of, and the family that owns it now runs it as a hotel and a restaurant. So we're having dinner here, we're having breakfast here, and then we are heading out to explore the area. Well, we've arrived on the Isle of Sky and we're about to have dinner at the Monks at Lodge near Yeek, and we're starting off with some soup. As I always say, I wish you had 4D televisions, so you could smell how good this soup tastes. By the way, it's July and people are wearing coats here because it's in the 50s. So we thought, what a good opportunity to get some soup. So we're starting off with some sweet potato and chili soup. It looks delicious, it smells delicious. That is super rich soup. The chili comes through and gives it some heat. But that sweet potato cuts really nice and uh, it's a new favorite. Well, our dinner has arrived here at the Monkstadt and this is gonna be one of those beautiful meals we have all year. I got the pan seared cod with some vegetables on top and roasted potatoes. And I mean, this dish is absolutely beautiful. You see this nice slice of cod in here. It looks a white wine sauce. I'm gonna get a nice slice of fish there. Run a potato. Maybe you get a little green in there as well. Mm -hmm. 
It's full of flavor. It's hearty, but it's it fits this weather really well. Um, but it's so fresh. I mean, it just in this setting. I mean, the setting of this place is unreal, and to have a meal like this. It's, it's worth going to what feels like the ends of the earth to get. I have the seafood risotto, there's mussels, there's scallops. We're just gonna go right in. It's hot. I absolutely love risotto. The fish, so fresh. Oh, here's a, oh, here's a shrimp. You can see, I hope you can see the steam coming off. Dinner was absolutely delicious. We're gonna have breakfast here tomorrow morning. Our room is super cute and uh, very cozy. It's a little cold out there, but it is very warm and inviting here at the Monk's Stat. We had a great stay here at the Monk's Stat Luxury Lodge. Very cute rooms, very quaint setting, warm and cozy because it's a little bit chilly out here. Our food was amazing. Dinner last night, breakfast this morning has really uh, helped us recharge, reset, because our jet lag has been pretty bad the last few days. But I think now after staying here, we're ready to get out there and attack the day and really start exploring. So we've just left the Monkstadt house and we are ready to get out and explore the sights here on Sky. There's uh, plenty of spots that we wanna hit up. So we are ready to attack the day. It is a little rainy out here today, but that is to be expected because we are on the wet coast of Scotland. Our first stop here is the Fairy Glen. So we're hiking up a little bit here to get a good view of this area that's supposed to be a little mystical and there's supposed to- There's actually no lore. There's no lore, it just- It's called the Fairy Glen because it looks like they live here. It's just an area it that looks sense. like fairies would live here. It's, it's like very- sheep live here. There's sheep everywhere. But it is uh, very green, lush. And beautiful here. Big surprise. <laughs> I understand why the fairies would live here. Well, we didn't climb to the top of a mountain. We climbed to the top of a fairy hill. <laughs> but we feel accomplished in. And we uh, have nice some pretty amazing photo. views. Yes. And a nice little family photo. We just like standing up here because you've got sheep dotting the hills. You've got a waterfall over there. you got all these mounds. And I mean, this is, this is as good as it gets right here, I think. Yeah. It does feel magical. What do you think, Evie? Oh, I'm not impressed. This is the kind of place you can't believe somebody didn't just like design this. It's, it's unbelievable. It's almost like a painting. We just stepped right inside. We finished up at the Fairy Glen. 
an absolutely beautiful setting. The sun started to peek out and just was shining down on us in this beautiful place with sheep running free. It felt, really felt like a storybook. Um, had a you know great first stop here. There are two different breweries here on Sky, and we stopped in to the Isle of Sky Brewing Company and picked up a few tasty beers that we're gonna drink later. Now we are heading over to the Queering, which is another beautiful landscape area here. I mean, it's all gorgeous. Everything we're driving through is absolutely beautiful. Um, just a few things to note, the roads out here are narrow and um, you really have to be mindful of cars coming in the other direction and you pull off, <laughs> you have to pull off to let people pass. Also be mindful of sheep, they are, this is their country, this is their land, they are roaming free on the side of the road. So they, um, they might be crossing the road, you just have to be prepared for whatever might be coming your way. Also, if you're not from here and you're driving on the other side of the car and the other side of the road, these are just a few more extra obstacles to keep in mind. But absolutely gorgeous day. It's heating up a little bit. And like I said, the sun is poking out. We're kind of in and out of the clouds, in and out of a little bit rainy, wet weather as well. But we are off to a great start here. I also just wanna say that we are doing our best when it comes to pronunciation while we're here in Scotland. Um, we do our research and we try to say things properly, but uh, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge for us. So we apologize if we butcher any of the names of the places that we're visiting while we're here. Well, talk about feeling like you're on top of the world. It's exactly the feeling you get when you're standing here on top of the queering. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. And we're just lucky because we've got some blue skies. There's a little bit of rain over there, but all in all, an absolutely beautiful day here. This is just a gorgeous setting out here. I keep. I keep repeating myself like, oh, this is so beautiful, it's so green, it's so lush, but it really is you have a beautiful view of the water here. And I mean, what I really love is you look down here, you can see the road and you just see these cars winding down and the sheep <laughs> just uh, grazing below. It's, it's really like the most idyllic setting. The town down here just sleepy. We finished off at Queering. That was an incredible stop. Such a beautiful landscape. We drove down into the valley down the cliff where we could see from up above and it's just a beautiful quaint town below. And now we're going to make a quick stop off at Kilt Rock. That was our quick stop off at Kilt Rock. It's 
a beautiful cliff here. You can uh, get a pretty good look at it from the overlook and it really does look like a kilt. There was also someone there playing bagpipes, which was like the perfect soundtrack to the view as we were looking out. Well, that was a quick drive through Portree. It is rainy and a little bit busy. We are going to continue on to go find lunch. We just stopped off at the co-op and picked up some snacks. We absolutely love popping into the grocery store and getting things that we can't get back home. And I think that chips or crisps taste better here. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when we get potato chips over here, they taste better than they do back home. I don't know if it's the way they're cooked. I don't know if it's just in my mind, but I really do think they're better here. We also got some cookies because we're cookie monsters. Well, we stopped off at the famous bridge here where everyone runs up the hill. I can't think of the name of it, so I will insert that later. But the midges started getting us, so we are getting out of Dodge. And this here is the second brewery that is on the Isle of Skye. I believe it is pronounced Coolins. If it is wrong, again, I apologize. Oh, but we did have some of their beers last night at uh, Monkset and they are very good. So yesterday the plan was to go to the Elandanen Castle and um, we kind of, we just ran out of time as we were getting over here because we wanted to get to where we were staying. So now we're heading back over there today because we do not want to miss the castle. We were going to stop off for lunch in Portree, but it was very busy. So we're improvising and we stopped off and got some cake and some tea, and that's gonna be our lunch, along with the chips and cookies that we got at the co-op. Is it nutritious? Are we adulting right now? Not really. Is it delicious? Yes. Are we responsible for humans? Are we just having fun? Yes but we've had a fantastic time so far on Sky, and uh, we're now heading to the Elan Donnan Castle. I believe it's like one of the most, if not the most photographed castle here in Scotland, maybe the world. I'm not positive about that, but I think when people think of castles in Scotland, you think of Edinburgh Castle, and then I think you think of the Elan Donnan. I know we've done puzzles, we've seen it on calendars. It's, it's pretty iconic. One of the coolest things about coming to this castle is walking over the bridge to get there. It's set on the water and so there's only one way in, one way out makes a lot of sense if you're trying to keep yourself protected from your enemies but it uh, it makes for a very very cool stop i've been looking forward to coming here for a long time look at just that setting is just incredible and <laughs> again i just keep saying i feel so lucky that we get the opportunity to come to places like this and and travel like this it's just been such an amazing day on the isle of sky we've just had an absolute blast today
Well, behind me is the view of the back porch of the Elan Dining Castle, which we are presently in. And what an incredible spot. I mean, everywhere we go in Scotland keeps getting better. Well, this castle is actually a modern castle. It was rebuilt pretty much a hundred years ago. So when you go inside, it's not old timey like a lot of castles. It's kind of what a castle would look like if it was rebuilt a hundred years ago. They don't let you take pictures inside, so we can't show you what it looked like in there. But there's no filming or photography in there. And we, we tend to try and follow those rules if we see them. Um, but you can find those online. But the outside of the castle is really what makes it worth the stop. I mean, the setting of this back porch is absolutely incredible. And when you come around the bridge and you see it, it's, it's pretty cool. So we've made it to our hotel tonight. We're staying at the Inch in Port Augustus and we're having dinner here as well. We just put in our order. I am getting, for a starter, the Cullen Skink, which is a must try food here in Scotland. It's a very popular um, creamy fish soup. I also ordered Scottish salmon. It's like the one thing I haven't had yet. I've had salmon for breakfast, but I haven't had a nice piece of salmon since we've been here. Really looking forward to that. Adam ordered a black garlic gnocchi. We saw it on the menu, we thought that sounded good. And after a long day of exploring out on the Isle of Skye, we are very hungry for our food to come out. Here is the Cullen's King. I love the name and it looks kind of like a clam chowder. Yes, it is kind of like clam chowder. It's also July, and this is the second night in a row that we have had soup and really wanted it. Mm. It was good. Very creamy. It's just kind of like a light fish flavor. It's not like overpowering at all. Our dinner has arrived. These plates look absolutely beautiful. The Plating expertise we've seen in Scotland has been unreal. And this is a black gnocchi. I've got um, pureed spinach below, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, and leeks. What I love about dishes like this is I'm not gonna find this dish anywhere else in the world. It's a unique dish and all these ingredients are local. That's insanely good. Here is my salmon. It is very, very pink. We have mashed potatoes, we have carrots, and then sauce here on the bottom. Mm. I, uh, I'm excited. As I've said, I've not had salmon yet. I've been really looking forward to it. Here we go. Ooh. That's very, very good. Mashed potatoes, carrots. This also feels a little bit lighter after some of the heavy breakfasts we've had these last few days. Well, we're at the halfway point of the Scotland road trip vacation oh. holiday as it's called over here i feel like it's just getting started but we have done mm -hmm. so much already it's but i been... mean i mean we just had a great meal and we're looking at uh, loch ness right now we had an amazing day exploring the isle of sky and we're really excited about the stuff we have planned coming up the next few days because these have been planned for a long time because we planned this before covid hit and we're excited that we're finally over here so this is, Even yeah, with our so little... pretty much since 2019, we've been waiting for this trip. So this is a, 
This is a big, mm-hmm. pretty big deal. I think that's why I keep saying, I'm so lucky that we're here because we're yeah. finally here after waiting for so long. I think Evelyn just really wanted to make sure she was part of this trip. Our life has really changed happy. a lot since we first she's planned been this very, trip, very, too. Very, very pleasant with the time change and sleeping and yes. not cranky at all. Grateful that we're all able to be here. And uh, again, we, we're still doing all the things that we had planned back <laughs> when we first planned this trip before <sighs> we had a third. So <laughs> it's uh, just adding to the adventure. And and now the, the midges are coming out and attacking us. Yep, now we gotta go. <laughs> The bugs say it's time to go. (laughs) If you want to see more from our adventures in Scotland, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.